happens when you write very rapidly don't write very rapidly in your del f1 exam calm down there is no hurry all right that's the reason people in their a1 level end up scoring 96 97 marks out of 100 this is the reason they think and then they write all right don't do these kind of mistakes otherwise what will happen is that you know in delf exams I, i'm 100% sure that you people know that you know they don't give you grammar exercises but they will give you one text and you will end up doing these mistakes these kind of mistakes in your delf exam so don't do don't do these mistakes all right and now we are khand ko ye this is correct this is correct wonderful wonderful now now so guys so today we'll be learning what are the most common mistakes people do by learning french language and uh, you know these are those mistakes which people do when they are in their very 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 initial level for example uh this student is in a1 level and if i do not correct these mistakes at this level these mistakes will get repeated again and again and you know people end up doing this mistake these mistakes in their delf exams too i have seen people students in a2 level while checking their copies committing these errors all right so don't do these mistakes so first of all very first of all what you have to do is always read the question properly for example this question is saying conjugue au passé composé all right so here what mistakes my uh, student did was on perdu perdre according to il present tense all right don't do these mistakes otherwise you will lose marks there is no substitute for that all right il zon perdu per du this is how you write all right on gagne it is correct but the correct answer should be gagne g a g n e and then apostrophe all right all and always take care of your accents all right make them properly there is no accent such as this one believe me i have seen this many a times when i was a teacher in a school people often write this uh, in such a manner all right same thing goes for j l e no it's j l u l u j r l u all right uh, so ne so it should be like this s o n n and then this all right this sorry i'm new with stylus so all right il or répondre i want you people to tell me what is the participle passé of répondre all right j'ai rencontré uh, cet homme tell me the mistake in this one too all right so you people are understanding what the mistake is all right so now and it's my humble request to all of you that you know there are sometimes people i don't know they also send me uh, scanned copies so whenever you send copies to your teacher make sure that these are properly scanned i mean like they are not these are not blurred for example in my case this copy is blurred don't do these mistakes all right for example je n'ai pas regardé this is correct this is correct this is cons consul they this is wrong because of the spelling mistake it should be consulte this happens when you write very rapidly don't write very rapidly in your del f1 exam calm down there is no hurry all right that's the reason people in their a1 level end up scoring 96 97 marks out of 100 this is the reason they think and then they write all right don't do these kind of mistakes otherwise what will happen is that you know in delf exams I, i'm 100% sure that you people know that you know they don't give you grammar exercises but they will give you one text and you will end up doing these mistakes these kind of mistakes in your delf exam so don't do don't do these mistakes all right and now we are khand ko ye this is correct this is correct wonderful wonderful 
now 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 uh, this prandu no it is wrong so this student has to work on re and ir verbs or she needs to focus on these verbs elashte this is correct avu demenage it is correct hier soir je fais it is correct this is wrong it should be au faire au faire all right you are invited this is correct wait let me have to check again wait, wait. Uh, it is wrong why it is wrong there is no invité if you will do this this mistake of forgetting the accent you will lose marks no one can stop you all right instead of uh, you know there is this thing that no one can stop you from scoring good marks no one will no one will be able to stop you from failing this exam i'm sorry i'm not here here for views i'm here to speak the truth and this is the truth all right uh, excuse excuse no no zabu no no there is no and pa this is completely wrong all right take care of your no negation also negation revise negation my student revise negation all right it is better than the, what she uh, sent me here uh, yesterday all right je tudie amu do akhmir jizave and you it is no it is wrong it should be always remember mm. for example i'm just giving you an example je a kado so it should be jani pa the blah 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 so what you have to do is always remember na and pa will be covered uh, avuar will be uh, just a second just a second na and pa in between you have to always use the first verb first verb here should be avuar verb because we are conjugating uh, according to passe compose all right avuar or etr verb always remember with in between na and pa there will be the first verb which you will be using all right first verb of a sentence always remember this abu visite this is wrong because there is no accent fe no zabu this is wrong why because it is a v o n s this is wrong there is no s this is wrong na utilize pa this is wrong a uh, continue this is right vous avez uh, this is wrong it is combien uh, d'année vous it is according see there is difference between vous and nous the conjugation should be according to vous vous avez on any otherwise this would have been correct all right this is wrong this is especially for those who are, who are you know uh, who are like in the very beginning so don't do these mistakes this is right this is not horrible last homework was horrible but this is this one is far 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 better uh a passé il a passé no it is wrong because there is no accent take care of accents take care of accents don't do these mistakes all right no parfini this is wrong il na pa fini this is correct all right uh let's say uh il a rate all right there is there is a very 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 big mistake of this these things all right i have completed grammar so grammar with her but i have not yet started taking her tests so for next like 20 days she will be facing test 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 all right uh il a recommencé this is r comme on say this is wrong again wrong why because there is no accent uh are we you see this is correct is on choisi choisi mm, just to confuse you people check it again i don't know if it is correct or not all right a bon restaurant fait avec ses amis no this is wrong this is completely wrong all right il na pa dormi il na pa dormi all right this is correct this is correct all right 
Oh, pas assez composé, pas assez composé. This is wrong. This is wrong because they should be avoir verb à souffler. This is usually à souffler. This is correct. À ouvert. It should be o u v e r t. All right. L a u. See, whenever there is avoir verb, always remember they should be av a u. L a u. This is correct. All right. L a e t konto. Don't show here should be a e t. This is the uh, past uh, past participle. This is let me just write it again in a proper handwriting. E t. All right. E t e and then accents. Okay. A the a. All right. This is the past participle of the verb of être, and this is the past participle of the verb avoir. J gagne. This is correct. This is correct. I'm very happy about that. Pre. It's not prendu. See, prendu is one of the very, very, very common mistakes. I was doing this mistake when I was in A2 level in the very beginning. And my my teacher Padma Natarajan Nam, she stopped me. She said, "Panka, don't do this mistake." All right, and then she told me that she used to do this mistake. I guess with the the verb atondre or prendre, I don't know. But she used to, I guess with the she yeah yeah she was doing this with prendre prendu. Even I was doing this mistake. Then I don't know if she she was doing this in order to motivate me or how. I don't know, but she was doing this. All right. So, 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 so. Let's just squeeze up here. Ah, wrong, wrong, wrong. Like too much of effort I have to put here. These are the verbs where you need to put at the verb instead of avoir verb. See, partir, descendre, naître. If you have not seen that video, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. All right, don't do these mistakes. Uh, all right. How will she clear her exam if she will? Okay, I have to revise negation for her again. All right. If you have not seen the negation video, I'll put the link in the description. It is wrong. Wrong. This is wrong again. I have to revise. She needs to revise at verb and avoir verb in the passé composé the rule. All right. Hello. So that's it from my side, guys. Thank you. Uh, I hope you have learned something. These are the mistakes every student does uh, do, and no one talks about all these things on YouTube, uh, which is very deplorable because you know people are here just for to make it sound easy. See, French is not that easy. i'm not saying it is as difficult as chinese or japanese or korean no it's not it's very easy but you sometimes you need to mug up the rules all right so you know guys don't do these mistakes i have made other videos also so and i hope my student uh, I, i i can't take your name here but i hope 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 you won't repeat these mistakes don't repeat these mistakes please thank you and god bless you all thank you